What is up guys, welcome back to another amazing video on my channel. If you're new, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button, sharing, liking, commenting, all the good things on YouTube. And today, we are gonna be doing this Lego football helmet. We're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna set my phone right over here. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. So it's a thousand pieces, right? Something like that. Oh, 1,179 pieces. So we're gonna open it up. We got all the pieces in here and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. So, um, I don't really know how this is gonna go. So, uh, give me a give me a few minutes to kind of get all this uh, squared away here and figure out what pieces are which. So, yeah, guys, if you haven't uh, if you haven't followed me on any of my social media, guys, make make sure you guys are hitting that follow button. Um, how do I do this? Oh, make sure you guys are smashing that follow button on my Instagram account, Carter Confidential, my Twitter account, it's Chase Carter. Is it it's Chase Carter? It uh it's Chase well it 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 is Chase Carter. And uh make sure you guys are subscribing to my YouTube channel, guys, because we gotta grow subscribers every single day. Seven. Oh, I'm not, I'm not even on the right step here. I'm not even on the right step. Put this piece here. I need a one, two, three, four, five, six, which is over here. This goes here, and then I need a three piece, and this goes here. Woo! This is gonna, this is gonna literally be the death of me, guys. This part, this uh, Lego piece is gonna be the death of me. Comment down your favorite sports team below, guys. Comment down your favorite sports team below. Mine is the Patriots. I love the Patriots. They're my, you know, most favorite team of the NFL. That's pretty much all I watch is NFL. Um, I really don't watch anything else other than NFL. I do watch baseball a little bit, but uh, that's just occasion. You know, when I'm hanging out with like some friends and stuff, and they're like, hey, let's watch a game. And I'm like, all right, let's watch a game. What game do you want to watch? In that case, I am a Red Sox fan. Um, I do like the Red Sox. Uh, but yeah, guys, comment down below your favorite NFL team, baseball team, soccer team, hockey team, lacrosse team. Uh, volleyball team, whatever team you guys are on, comment that down below. Comment down below if you like building Legos. If you like building Legos, comment down below because Legos is seriously, it's such a mental thing. There's no going back pretty much once you uh, start putting it all together. There's not really going back because you could honestly mess up like that. And once you mess up, it's like, oh geez, where did I start? Four piece, three piece goes here. Oh, this is where I messed up last time. This is where I messed up last time. And these pieces don't play, man. These pieces do not play when they come apart. Ow. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> ah, finally. It's gonna go right there. Okay, so we have two of these pieces. They're identical pieces, but just flit. Um, so I'm pretty sure these are probably gonna be like the sides of the helmet. Um, guys, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button, sharing, liking, commenting. I am going to get back to you when I get more of this Lego done. So uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch you in a few minutes. Peace. What is up, guys? Literally, it is the next day that I'm filming this uh, from my last clip. I literally started to put these, oh, literally started to put these pieces together and I kept getting stuck for some reason at one point and I couldn't figure it out. I, I literally think the instructions were telling me one thing, but it wasn't matching up because I would do it every single time. I would take it apart, put it back together, wouldn't work. I'd take it apart, put it back together, wouldn't work. I took it apart with my dad here and he was like, okay, put it there, put it there, put it there, okay. And then I got to one certain point again and it was like, it wouldn't match up. And we found out that one of the things, you had to shift it over a bit, but that didn't save in the directions. So, uh, a little confusing. We're gonna do a little uh, Patriot trivia while we're doing this as well. See how many uh, trivia questions I can get. Maybe some uh, funny questions, I don't know. Let's just start putting a couple more uh, pieces on here and uh, let's get it. And put it right. Here, and I'll do uh, I'll do the Patriot trivia right after I get this section done right here, and I'll do a little Patriot trivia while I'm doing this. So uh, 
All right, guys, we are back. Um, I just got finished on doing this top thing. Now we're gonna do a little uh, sports trivia. You guys can answer down below if you guys know the answers as well. Um, it always helps, you know, my comments out a lot. So um, let me flip this over so I know what page I'm on. First question is the Patriots moved and changed their name in 1971. What was the home city prior to that? Um, the New England Patriots were um, the Boston Patriots, I believe. They were the Boston Patriots before they were the New England Patriots because they live in Boston. So, uh, yeah. Correct! The Boston Patriots were an original member of the American Football League in 1960. I'm gonna try to multitask and do this and answer questions. It's gonna be difficult, but uh, we're gonna try. Um, who was the head coach of the Patriots during the 2003 season? He's the head coach now, Bill Belichick. Uh, Bill Belichick came to the Patriots from the New York Jets in 2000. Where did Tom Brady go to college? Does anybody know that question? Where did Tom Brady go to college? Does anybody know that question? If you guys know that question, comment down below. Where did Tom Brady go to college? Tom Brady went to college at Michigan. Michigan State. It's a six round pick in 2000. Uh, let's see here. I need a two one. All right, let's see here. Goal kicker Adam Vinatieri made a winning field goal kick during the Super Bowl with six seconds left in regulation. What number was he wearing? It's an easy one. Four. Adam Vinatieri was number four. I miss Adam Vinatieri, man. He's a uh, he's one of the oldest kickers in the league, I believe, right now. What was the name of the stadium the Patriots called home? 1971 to 2001. Um, I have a feeling I know what it's called, but I don't know if it's right. I want to say they called it uh, Foxborough Stadium. Foxborough Stadium. Does that sound right? Foxborough Stadium. Foxborough Stadium. Yeah, that sounds right. Foxborough Stadium. Let's go. We were right. Foxborough Stadium, also known as Schaefer Stadium from 1971 to 1982. And Sol Sullivan Stadium from 1983 to 1989. Foxborough was home until their new stadium was completed in 2002. Where did Ty Law go to college? Ty Law went to college with Brady at Michigan. Michigan! Ty Law was a first round pick by the Pats in 1995 and the 23rd pick overall. Next question. Quarterback Tom Brady wore what number? What number did Tom Brady wear, guys? If you guys know this question, comment down below. If you guys know this answer, comment down below. What number did Tom Brady... Did I just break this whole thing? Jesus, Chase, calm down. The answer is... 12. Tom Brady wears number 12. Good. One, two. One, two action. They really need some harder questions on here. Which tall NFL team overcame the New England Patriots with the luckiest helmet catch? Oh my god. I don't even have to finish reading the question. I don't even have to finish reading the question. I already know exactly what they're going to say. The New York Giants. The New York Giants beat the Patriots in 2008 with that freaking helmet catch. Like, come on, seriously? That was literally one of the luckiest catches I've ever seen in my life. I think the, the score ended up being 17-14. I'll actually, I'll answer that clip right now. I'll answer that clip right now of how that helmet catch went and you guys, you guys tell me like that should have, it was a pretty good catch, I'm not gonna lie. But, he shouldn't have caught it. Pressure from Thomas off the air. Eli Manning stays on his feet, airs it out down the field. It is caught by Tyree. David Tyree. And now with 59 seconds left, the Giants needing a touchdown. All right, next question. Deion Branch was traded to what team after the 2005 season, even though he was the Patriot named the Super Bowl MVP? Um, 2005. Who did we play in 2005? 2005, we beat the Eagles in the Super Bowl. Where did he go? Where did Deion Branch go? Where did Deion Branch go? Where did you, where'd you go, buddy? Where did you go? You went to... I'm not 100% sure. Dang it. I'm not 100% sure on this one. This is a hard question. Uh, Deion Branch, where'd you go? 
he went to, I don't know. I don't know where he went. I forgot. The Seahawks. Oh, he went to the Seahawks. How did, how did I not know that? The Seahawks. Come on. In 1993, who was the Patriots' choice as the first overall draft pick? 1993, first choice overall draft pick was the quarterback. And the quarterback's name was Drew Bledsoe. Drew Bledsoe! Hey! A quarterback out of Washington State played from 1993 to 2001 with the Patriots. He was made starting quarterback his rookie season. During his time playing, he saw two Super Bowl appearances. Um, and then he got hurt, and then Brady stepped in, and there long lives the, the king of the NFL. What was the name of the stadium the Patriots moved to in 2002? Oh, that has to be Gillette Stadium because, yeah, that has to be Gillette Stadium because their first one was Boston. Or Foxborough Stadium. Or no. Yeah, Gillette, it's Gillette Stadium. Because 2002, yeah, for sure. Gillette Stadium. Gillette Stadium! How many questions have you guys got right so far? How many questions have y'all got right so far? And how many have you got wrong so far? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys are a Patriot fan, smash that subscribe button. Let's join the Patriot ride together. Okay, I, I screwed up somewhere. Oh, that's why. God dang it, Dale. So this is how much I have done of the helmet so far. I don't know when we're gonna start building the logo part of it, but this is how much I got done so far. Oh my God, I could probably wear the helmet when it's done. When this helmet is done, I could probably wear it. It fits literally like over my head. I'm not even gonna lie. I am gonna, I am gonna wear this helmet when it's done. For sure, 100% I'm wearing it. And we are back, I finally got almost the logo complete on this Lego helmet. Um, we're gonna take a little, little break here and do some uh, questions for you guys and for me as well. Kinda like, you know, just some fun questions as I continue to do this. Let's see here, what page did I just get done with? I got done with this page right here. So flip this over, orange. The heck, why is this orange? Is that supposed to be red or orange? Because I don't have orange. I am so confused now. What the heck? Look at it. Is that not orange? Is, is that not orange to you guys? That is, that's clearly orange, right? And, and that's red? I'm going to assume those are red pieces because I don't have anything else. Anyway, guys, we are going to be doing some questions for you guys. Um, first question is cereal soup. Why or why not? Technically, cereal is a, it's like a soup. It's milk with like cereal in it. It's like a soup. That's, what do you guys think? Comment down below if you guys think cereal is a soup. Cereal is definitely, I would say cereal is a soup. That's just me. Cereal is technically a soup. Next question, what's the best Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? Well, that, that's another question. What is the best Wi-Fi name you've ever seen? I would probably say like, I've seen some that are like FBI or like White Van or something like that because nobody wants to click on that Wi-Fi name because obviously if you click on that Wi-Fi name, you could be clicking on something pretty strange. Um, I'm just gonna assume these orange pieces are red pieces because I have nothing else to go off of because I don't have orange pieces and there is no Patriot helmet that has orange in it. So, all right, next question guys. How do you feel about putting pineapple on pizza? Pineapple pizza, I think is very, 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 very good. I don't mind it. Pineapple on pizza, I can fly with pineapple on pizza. I think it's fantastic. Multitasking and doing this at the same time is very, 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 very hard. If animals could talk, all right? If an animal could talk, which one would be the rudest? Does that even make sense? Which animal would be the rudest? 
Hey, Alex. Yeah. If an animal could talk, which one do you think would be the rudest? Uh, badger. A badger? I feel like badgers would be pretty rude. Ooh, a hyena, a cat, yeah. A cat would be the rudest. They're like, look, you're gonna pet me or not pet me. And then they're just like knocking over stuff every time they go somewhere. So this is kind of where we got so far. I am going to cut the camera again, work on this a tad bit more and try to get most of it done. And I will see you guys back in a bit. All right, we are slowly, slowly finishing this helmet, guys. I am literally just missing the top piece right now. Um, that is going to be getting finished here in about literally, literally seconds. Like, I have one, two, three, four more pages to do of this right here, and let's let's just get to it. Let's just let's just finish it up. So I got the whole helmet pretty much done all the way around, but I still have to do the face guard. So um, I am going to jump to that right now and I will cut back to when that is done. But this is looking sick guys. So uh, see like two seconds. All right guys. And after a long two day stressful time, I finally got this helmet finished. Um, I'm actually gonna put it on because I think you can actually, you can actually wear it as a full helmet. Like, this is kind of dope. So when I play football or something like that, I'm gonna be wearing this helmet. Um, but that is gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe. Ow. Make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button, sharing, liking, commenting, all the good things on YouTube. I will see y'all next time. Peace. It is a few hours later, but I also want to give a huge shout out to my favorite person on the world, Jessica. Thank you so much for actually buying this gift for me for my birthday. Thank you so much for this. This was an awesome gift. And if you guys ever want to build something like this, go ahead and get, uh, I think it's FOCO, F-O-C-O -O bricks. I don't even know. Make sure you guys go get it because it's amazing and it was super fun to build. Peace.